Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn what is variables and how to use in click. A variable in click is a named entity and it contains either numeric or string value. So when we use the variable in anywhere, variable will be substituted by its value which we have defined. Variable can be created either in the script or at the front end. In a front end, we can create variables from this variable screen. Today we will see how to create variables at backend at script level. We can create variable by two ways. One is defining variables using set statement and second one is by let statement. And we'll see what is the difference between set and let. All these variables defined here using set. These are all environmental variables. First of all, I will write down two statement v value 1 equal to 10 multiplied by 50 and let v value okay here it will be 1 and here it will be 2 10 multiplied by 15. We'll run it and we'll see how we will get two different variables created v value 1 which we have created using such statement is giving 10 multiplied by 50 as it is while the second variable v value 2 it is giving us 500. So this is the major difference between variables created using set and let. When we create variable by the keyword let it will evaluate the part which is right hand side of equal sign and then it will assign to the variable. That means here we have 10 multiplied by 50. So it will calculate 10 multiplied by 50, make it 500 and then it will assign to v value 2 variable. But the case for the v value 1 variable which we have defined using the set keyword, it will give us 10 multiplied by 50 as it is. It will not evaluate the value. Same way, if I will write v name 1 equal to click view and I will say let v name 2 equal to click view. So the first one will give us result as it is and second one will concatenate click and view word together and it will make it click view. Let's see. So you can see the name 1 is giving us as it is without any concatenation, without evaluating the right hand side part but v name 2 will give us click view. It will merge click and view both together and it will give us a single string as click view. So the question is where we need to use set, where we need to use let. Set is mostly used where we want to store like folder location, path or say any string etc. I will show you example of set first. I will go to my QVD folder and then I will load one QVD here and instead of using the full QVD path, I will store my path set with QVD folder and I will store my QVD path inside a variable using the set function and now I will use this by dollar sign expansion. So when I reloading this my vqvd folder variable will be replaced by its actual path and the customer qvd is getting loaded from the exit folder. Whenever you want to use the variable created in script you have to use dollar sign expansion. It is the case for both any variable created using set or let. You have to use dollar sign expansion. Now I will give you another example. Say I have this data set. And I will say my order detail here. I don't want this one. Say we want to load all lines from the order table till end of the previous month. To do that, I will create 
one variable i will say let v max date equal to my month end of previous month and now i will use my this variable will say order date less than equal to my v max date first of all i will load without where statement and we can see we have 10 lines here i will create a table at the front end with my order date and order okay now i will try to implement where statement it is coming as zero here let me use the trace statement here and i will say v max date equal to my v max date i am using dollar sign expansion so that it will give me the value of v max date so you can see we are getting value 2802 2022 even though we are getting the correct value inside the variable we are still unable to use the same here okay let me replace this here with 28022022 20, now when i will load the data i will get six line here and we are exactly getting the same result which we are expecting so why it is not working when instead of this we are using we max date so the issue here is because we have used let v max date so in that case we are already getting result 28022 2022 and again at the line number 39 when we are using the same variable with dollar sign expansion dollar sign expansion will again evaluate the value of the variable so it is doing 28 divided by 2 and the result will be again divided by 2022 because of that we are not getting the correct output so how to resolve this issue there are different ways you can get the output first of all keep everything as it is and mention single quote here now we know that order date is in dual format right now so order date will do comparison with 2802 that means 2802 instead of 28 divided by 02 divided by 2022 that's the first option let's do it so you can see we are getting six lines here this is what exactly we are expecting the second option is if you don't want to do single quote here you can do set here so what set will do it will not evaluate the expression it will give you v max date output as it is and then it will evaluate here let's see so now you can see the max date is giving as month and today minus 1 and when we do the dollar sign expansion at line number 39 it will convert to 28 february 2022 the third option is you can still use let here but instead of month and you can do number here so once you convert to number format here you will still get the same result but you can see now the max date is converted to numeric format so when we use dollar sign expansion at line number 39 it will not do any further calculation and the fourth option is instead of using number here use single quote with the same let v max date again it will not convert this to month and but the dollar sign expansion will convert this string 
to month end and you can see we are getting the same result here there are various way you can create variables where to use set where to use let it will depends on your criteria and your requirement now one last step you can see here we have v max date equal to month and today minus 1 which we have created using this now once we successfully executed our script i don't want this variable at front end because it is of no use for me so i need to delete this variable so how can i delete it if you go to the front end you can see this is the symbol which is saying that this variable is defined in script and you cannot find the delete button here you can see you can delete all these variables but you cannot delete the first line because it is created in script and we haven't declared it as null so to remove this variable you have to remove it from the script as well so once you finish the use of this variable you can say let v max date equal to null load the script and then you can delete from here so once you empty the variable once you make it null and delete from the front end the next time when you run the script the variable will not come back so it is always a good practice to remove and delete all your unused variables so that you will have less numbers of variables or you have variables which are only being used at the front end hope you like this video please do subscribe and comment thank you